Hey guys, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. This is southern Portugal. I'm here in an area called Orique, and I'm staying with a German family who runs a finca called Novatero here in Portugal. They have about 20 acres of land here that's mostly a refuge and a sanctuary for the seven horses that they take care of, but they also have fruit trees and a garden, and they're trying to live off the grid here with their photovoltaic, their solar system, their well that gives them unlimited water from a shallow well, and also growing a lot of the food that they use. They're both vegan, and so it makes sense to them to grow a lot of the food they need to live here on site. So let me take you guys really quick for a brief tour of Kirsten's garden. Let's go. When I first came on the property here, I was actually amazed at how similar this Portuguese climate is to Phoenix, except for they have a lot more rain here. So you'll see cactus growing like nopales, nopalitos. You'll see some date palms growing, even though they claim that the date palms get attacked by a bug that kills them. Maybe that's because of the too much moisture in the air. But Kirsten's growing a lot of edibles here in the garden. I'm gonna bring her in to speak some German with us and identify some of the plants for us, but they have some nice irises going on here. Even though I'm not gonna eat this one, it's still a beautiful welcoming host for the garden. She is growing all of her garden in the ground, not using raised beds, but she is using hugo culture. And I'll let her say it in a little bit. It's the German word where they kind of grow in mounds and they grow on the sides of the mound and the top of the mound. So let's go over a few of the key zones she has here in her garden. And also we'll go over uh, two of the key pests that she is heartbroken about because they're eating and taking over her garden. We have three things to talk about in this zone. Number one is rosemary, which grows amazing here. It seems like rosemary grows amazing everywhere. It smells so good. Behind the rosemary is uh, an edible leafy green called New Zealand spinach. And this one I've had a lot of success with growing. It's kind of got a little bit of a tang to it and very healthy for you. It's also very invasive. If you leave it unattended, it will take over the entire garden, so be careful. And third, we have their watering system. So they have unlimited free water here because of their well that is pumped out of the ground from only about 50 meters, not that deep at all, with solar. They have a solar-powered uh, generator that's running off the sunlight. So not only is their finca or their farm getting the light from the sun, but they're also getting all their energy from the sun and they're getting all their water from the sun. So pretty cool. So they're watering their garden with these sprinkler heads that shoot the water everywhere. And that potentially could be one of the reasons why they're having a lot of weed problem, which is one of their two problems I'll talk about in a second. It's May right now. This is a transitional time of the year for them. It's like spring turning into summer. It just rained last night. It's actually not that warm outside right now. So they're having a rotation of crops. Their winter greens like this arugula that has the beautiful flowers and they're very smoky and delicious. I love the arugula flowers. But they also have planted out some of their summertime crops, like their zucchinis and some melons that they have all over the property here. And they use a lot of hay. They have unlimited amount of mulch because they just have grass and wildflowers and weeds growing nonstop 24 seven. And part of the work I've been doing here as a woofer during this trip to Portugal has been to uh, clear cut acres of their land with a weed whacker because it's just six to eight feet tall. So they're taking all the dead mulch from that weed whacking and they're using it to insulate their soil. And I love this. All their beds here feel very spongy and look really good and the plants are growing very well through them. All right, we're taking a break from this video because that bell means it's vegan breakfast time. And we'll come back and finish this video in about an hour. Okay, we are back after an incredible breakfast brought to you by Kirsten. She's given us such an amazing vegan taste bud experience during this short stay here at Novatero. In this section, we have some lemon balm and this is growing really healthily. We have some leeks and strawberries growing together here in the back and I'll cut to some footage I took earlier today of Kirsten and I picking the strawberries with the hay being used as a mulch. And then we have the patch of strawberries here and they're looking really good. And Kirsten, you have so many strawberries in your hands here. Looking good. Yes, yes, nice. Mm. 
How do you say strawberries in German? Erdbeere. Erdbeere. Erd. 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 Und Beere. Oh, so the, like the earthberry. Yes. Erdbeere. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay, now we are with Kirsten. Thank you for the tour of the garden. And she's going to lead us through in German and show us some of the plants that she's planted here in the garden. This is Rosmarin, Neuseeländischer Spinat, Aronia, Aronia Beere, kleine Paprika, Tomaten, Basilikum, passt gut zu Tomaten, eine Kartoffel, hier eine Kartoffel, da eine Kartoffel, Zucchinis. Hoffentlich. Celery. Oh. Celery. Er blüht. Mm -hmm. It's blooming. You have the beet. How do you yes. say this one in German, in Deutsch? Rote Beete. Rote Beete. Rote Beete. Mm -hmm. They look really nice. Die sind schon zu groß. Cut it and. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hügelbeet. Und hier wachsen viele Pflanzen zusammen. Tomaten von allein. Uh, hier Gurke. Oh, hier. A little. <lacht> Gurke. Brokkoli. Tomate. Mm, Sellerie. Auch von allein. Uh, Kürbis. Ein schöner. Salat, Salatköpfe. Und hier ist äh, Aubergine. Ja, yeah, the Aubergine, Aubergine or the eggplant. Yes. yes. Ganz ähnlich, ja. Und das ist horrible. <laughs> What is it? Keine Ahnung. Know. It's everywhere. Keine Ahnung. Man, this is horrible. It's everywhere. So people out there watching, um, if you can tell us, what is this weed? If you guys can see, every time Kirsten says that she picks one of them, two more grow in their place. <laughs> what is this one called? This is uh, rote or schwarze Johannisbeere. Hmm. And das auch und das auch. And you say it's a Johannisbeere. Johannisbeere. Oh, yeah. Johannisbeere. Yes. Wundervolle Salatköpfe. Looks so good. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Yes. Erdbeere mit äh, Zwiebel, also oder ähm, Knoblauch, Knoblauch zwischen die Erdbeeren ist gut für gegen Schädlinge. Mm. Brennnessel. Oh, Brennnessel. Für Smoothie. Hmm. And then you have the lemon balm. Uh, How do you say? Es ist Zitronenmelisse. Zitronenmelisse. Zitronen? Zitronen? Uh, Zitronen? Melisse. 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 Oh, it smells like lemon. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So good. Uh, the paprika. Paprika. Yeah. So a big red. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. And immer wieder hier. More the horrible. Potatoes. Meine Lieblingspflanze. <laughs> Und noch ein Brokkoli. And this one we say leek, but you say. Porre. It's a porre. Or the lauch. Oder lauch. Lauch, okay. Yeah. And you also have a greenhouse. Yes. Can we see some of the plants in your uh -huh. greenhouse? Yes. Okay. Rucola. It's the arugula. Rucola. Arugula. Das auch. Mm -hmm. Eine andere Sorte. And then how about inside here? Aronia. Oh. Aronia beere. Mm. Here and here. Mm -hmm. And the pots back here. This is tabak. Tabak. Physalis. The Fisalis is my favorite. Yes. Nochmal Tabak. Mm. So, groß. so do you smoke it or what do you no, do with no, it? No, 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 no. No, for decoration. Yes. yes, yes. Sonnenblume, sunflower. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. You're trying out these fruit trees. So this one. Orange mm -hmm. tree. Lemon. Mm -hmm. Feige. Yeah, the Feige. Yeah. Citrone. 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 The lemon. Lemon. Mm -hmm. yes, lemon. Feige and Maul. Which is the mulberry? Maul, yeah. Or the Maul? Maulbeere. Mm. Ah, so Maul. it's the Maul? Uh-huh. Uh, Bera. Bera. Nice. Berry. Yes. yes. And so you are going to plant these out in the yard? Yes. Uh, this year or next year? Uh, this year in the aunt. And this one, what is this one here? This is Lucia Lima. 
Your teeth. Lucia Lima. Oh, Lucia for tea. Lima. Yes. Oh, really? Wow, mm -hmm. that's very nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. yeah. And then in the winter time, you put a cover over. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Nice. The melon, the uh, yellow melon, the honey melon. Yes. This and this uh, the green, big green mm. um, water melon. It's the watermelon. Mm -hmm. How do you say it in Deutsch? The Wasser melone. Uh, Wasser, Wasser melone. Mm. Mm. And you have some parsley over here, or what is the? Petersilie. Petersilie. Yeah, silie. Petersilie. And mm. this is dill. Yes. Dill. So thank you, Kirsten. Uh, danke schön. Bitte for, schön. Gern. <laughs> for the tour. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for your hospitality and for all the food and for all the garden and everything. Yes. Yes. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here in the Novatero garden with the vegan athlete as well as Kirsten in Portugal. Please put a comment down below. Ask me any questions you might have and we'll answer them. If anybody speaks German and English and wants to translate Kirsten's portion of this video, please do so in the comments down below. If you guys are interested in joining my blog or getting any of the vegan athlete merch, you can go to learnfromjake.com. That's my brand new site. And you guys can see more of our wolfing experience at the Adventures with Jake and Nicole YouTube channel. It's starting to rain, which is exciting for me being from the desert. Go vegan, enjoy your food at home, and I'll see you guys back here next time. So what are you doing here in the garden? Picking weeds. What are these weeds? Mystery weed. <laughs>